What's going on guys and welcome back to another video and welcome to your daily news report for Friday, May 13th. So we ought to discuss what's going on because right now what's happening is the White House is pushing for more. They want to see more relief to the American people and we know this. But now White House officials are actually coming out and saying, hey, we need to attack this issue and that issue. Well, here's what I can tell you. For weeks, we've heard about the White House's plans, many plans to help fight inflation, provide more relief to the American people, and create stability around the world. But when asked about what's next, many White House officials state that Congress must pass better legislation, not more. They must pass better legislation because right now what we know is that Congress is working on advancing uh, different bills like the abortions, uh, the abortion rights bill. This is a big discussion that's going on right now. They're still working on getting the $10 billion for COVID funding. That's something that many uh, experts say we have to get or we will struggle towards the middle end of the summer and also leading into the fall. We know they're still working on the $40 billion towards Ukraine aid. Well, this was actually delayed by Senator Rand Paul just the other day. And we still have many House Democrats that are attempting to get President Biden's uh, economic agenda passed or really at least just negotiate it. So that's kind of where lawmakers are at now. However, there have been new talks about things like affordable housing and also student loan forgiveness. Some are for student loan forgiveness, others are against it. But what we do know is that President Biden stated that he'd have an answer for pretty much all of us on student loan forgiveness within a few weeks. This statement was made two weeks ago, which means he has just one more week to give us an answer and provide us with that, you know, the details as to who would get student loan forgiveness and for how much. So here's what else is going on. Experts are saying that canceling student debt, student loan debt based on income is not a smart move. And they say this because right now they don't have all the information that is needed in order to determine who would get forgiven and not. What they do know is that many families don't even, didn't even put down how much money they make. So this means the White House wouldn't have the information it needs to determine who's forgiven and who isn't. But again, this is all part of the issue. Now, not only that, but White House economists are also saying that we really need legislation on affordable housing. And they say this because currently millions of Americans are being priced out of homes due to the simple fact we're seeing rising prices, but also at the same time, rising interest rates, which makes your buying power so much less. So getting into a home right now is seen as a very big challenge. But consider this. Right now, millions of people can't get into homes because, well, they're just too expensive. So what's their alternative? They go and rent something. Okay, that and you see, you're probably thinking, well, that's fine. You can't buy a home, just, just go rent something. Perfectly fine. Here's the issue with that. What's happening is landlords are actually starting to raise rates because they understand they hold all the power. So that's the issue there is landlords aren't just raising rates because, well, their costs are getting more expensive. No, it's the supply and demand. That's what's causing rates to go up even faster. Now, what we do know is that all the plans right now that are being discussed to provide relief to the American people, the majority of them from the White House are going to require legislative action. Right now, Congress, they have other items on their priorities list. And again, I just addressed some of these. COVID funding, funding to Ukraine, right? the abortion rights bill. A lot of these things are gonna take precedence over uh, you know, affordable housing. And they're definitely gonna take precedence over the child tax credits. Now, I bring this up for one main reason. Not because these are coming back uh, anytime soon. Yes, there's still some discussions on it, but but the reason I bring this up is because it was announced just the other day that the Biden administration has relaunched the portals to allow families to claim the child tax credit deduction without actually filing taxes. This is something that the Biden administration stated that it was not gonna do. You had to file your taxes. However, they went back on this. So this is actually being seen as a huge boost to very low income families that do not file 
their taxes. Now, half of the child tax credit payments, these were claimed on a monthly payment basis. This was back in 2021. The other half, you had to go and file your taxes. Then you would receive the other half. Well, this opens up that door. You don't have to file your taxes. So if you didn't file your taxes, the Biden administration opened up the portal so you can actually go to this uh, website and you would be uh, able to you know, claim the other half of your child tax credit payment. So it's actually pretty big there. It means a lot of people are gonna receive some extra money. Now, last year, just to give you an idea of how, how big this was, this portal was actually opened up last year to provide you know, lower income families with the ability to receive you know, their stimulus checks. Well, they were able to receive about $440 million in tax benefits. That's how much was collected. And it helped more than 115,000 people claim their benefits, again, without filing their taxes. But if the White House wants this expanded child tax credit to continue, they're gonna have to get congressional approval first. And as of right now, there's very little discussions on this, which means it's probably not gonna get approved. So if this is something that you're still waiting on, just understand you will most likely have to continue to wait because it's not going anywhere. Now let's talk about what's coming up this weekend. Due to the leak uh, this past week on Roe v. Wade, this is a leak from the Supreme Court. Many people this weekend are already planned on protesting productive rights, reproductive rights. And I wanna address this because we've been seeing discussions, we've been seeing little forums pop up, we've seen articles being written, but currently there's already more than 375 planned protests in major cities. These are cities like New York City, Austin, Texas, Chicago, Illinois, Los Angeles, California, even Washington, DC. Now, the reason why you know, we're gonna see this, okay? Because, again, th this is big. If Roe v. Wade is overturned by the Supreme Court, then there are already 26 states that are planning on almost immediately uh, banning or restricting access to abortion. Now, there's currently 13 states that have uh, something called trigger laws. And uh, when Roe v. Wade is overturned, it would trigger a new law. So 13 states already have this. So as soon as Roe v. Wade is reversed, or if it is, okay, I don't wanna say as soon as it is, but if it is, these states would immediately change to their new laws. This would be detrimental to people that are hoping to get an abortion and then won't be able to because it would then be banned in that specific state. Now, this week the Senate did try to stop this from happening by codifying abortion rights nationwide. However, it was unsuccessful. Okay, so that's what's happening right now. And again, what's going on is the White House is trying to regain control. They're pushing for more. Usually when the White House, especially the president says, hey, we need to provide this or that to the American people, normally their party gets behind them. That's not been the case with President Biden. So what some are saying is that the White House needs to push to get stuff done. And if they don't, Nothing's going to happen because we know in the Senate, what's going to happen is Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, he's going to pretty much delay anything. He's going to delay things because he understands what's in stake come November for the midterm elections. So that's what's happening at this time. As always, as I know more, I promise I'll be here every step of the way to provide you with the newest, the latest news and updates as we get them. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.